So if you see him point him back here, we're joined by Alec Jones, an American shock jock. He's been campaigning for more openness at the Bilderberg Conference. David Aronovich, who's a, always sniffy about conspiracy theories, he's a columnist for The Times. Alex Jones, you've been covering Bilderberg for a long time. What have you ever found out about it? In that piece you just played, there's nothing in the water. Hydrofluorosilicic acid in major Harvard studies has been causing a seven-fold increase in bone What's cancer. What's that got to do with Boom. Bilderberg? What have I discovered about Bilderberg? The yeah. BBC was able to get the documents decades ago that they helped found the Euro, which was actually a Nazi German plan ah. to take over countries economically. No, that's on record. And I've interviewed members of the EU yeah. Parliament on the subject who were out there at the event. But what's that? 3,000 people. They turned 1,000. Bilderberg is heavily involved in the EU plan and helped hatch it, and it is a Nazi plan. They had Lockheed so, scandals, just like the big lobbying scandals right now in the 70s, and that's why the SS officer, Prince Bernhard, the founder, had to step down. So, it is the ultimate lobbying meeting, while you guys have this huge scandal going on, your Prime Minister's going there, okay. uh, uh, Balls was just here, Bilderberg Group member, we have forced them from cover to admit that there are puppeteers above the okay, major parties. David so now we know how now we know that Bilderberg has given us the euro. Uh, yes, I mean, uh, if you talk to Alex for any length of time, you discover all kinds of things that you didn't know about the world. We've blown it wide open. Um, you have. You have absolutely blown it wide open. But it leaves me with a huge question for you, Alex. And it's really, you have uncovered the new world order, which is deadly. It's full of what I you call people exist. who are crim criminals. Well, this is what I'm coming to. It's full of criminals, etc., who seek to run the world and will kill anybody who gets in their way. And you are almost, or have been, a lone crusader powering against them. No, that's so, not, how come? How, am I alive? How, how are you still alive? Why am I alive? Well, no, which, is the yeah. listen, listen, am I alive? which is the explanation? One, they don't exist. Or two, you're part of the conspiracy. No, let me tell you a story. Let me tell you a story. I uh, say the first. Five years ago when Obama and Hillary... I say the second. Five years ago when Hillary and Obama were at Bilderberg and the Secret Service was there in helicopters, the New York Times came out and said I was crazy. There was no Bilderberg group meeting. And my wife got phone calls, and so did I, threatening to kill us. And the people said, and you better take it serious because you were just talking to your dad that was in the hospital. But, you better shut your mouth or we're going to cut your head off. But now, that, would, no. If that's they the, were going to kill that, you, they, they listened to, they wouldn't they listened to everybody's the phone lines. They call up and harass people that expose them well, and tell them and tell so, them so what they were just talking about. They, the they, are, they Alex, harass you're people. You're going to say there's no spying. Alex, I'm it's here. like not oh, no. Germany. Oh, no. The only spy on the bad guys, oh. huh? You let you let him speak. No. Well, Sir, no, Alex, I Alex, saw one of your ministers say this though. No, Alex, Alex, I'm here. I am, there's tyranny. No, shut up. I, for I'm, the I'm, I'm, here, I, I'm here to testify that your head was not cut off. Ladies well, and gentlemen, are you sure if about they that? kill me, it turns me into a martyr. It, it, it puts big exclamation points on the end of what I've said, and I have put out a lot of information. There's millions of others that are exposing it. And the look, we have mega banks that are getting $85 billion a month of U.S. taxpayer money. Most of it goes to Europe and England. Uh, British taxpayers, EU taxpayers have to pay to these mega bankers. They're right. in there setting this up. It's come out. And then the media yeah. distracts you with, All oh, right. look at a guy that okay. talked to a lobbyist right. when the real lobbyist okay, is going on. Listen, you're not going to dominate this. He gets to speak to. It's not your own radio show. Uh, should we be worried about Builder Group at all? It's a kind of, it's mildly interesting, the Bilderberg Group, and it feels, doesn't it, when you were talking about it in the, in the film, slightly kind of out of date as belonging yeah. to the era when the you couldn't, War. yeah, when you couldn't even admit in Parliament that there was a, you know, when we called the head of MI5M or whatever it was that we called them, we couldn't admit to these things. Yeah. And so to the extent that it seems people weren't ready to be spied on yet. Uh, 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 what was that a fact? People anyway. hadn't been acclimated yet. Could you let them finish? We're in right. a police state. It's 1984. Yeah, listen, well, how you guys just want to normalize it. Would you let them finish? Alex, yeah. If we're in a police state, how yeah. come they, they actually turn back some of my reporters, but they didn't turn me back, and I was told this think, because they don't want to make a stink. Do you think the BBC is part of the Bilderberg Group? Well, uh, you know, Winston Smith did work here. I mean, come on, Eric Blair worked here, and that's what he said it was. Why do you think we've George let you Arwell. on? Why have we let you on then? Uh, because you guys think that you can manage the whole thing, and now our information's gotten too big. I have three million radio listeners a day. That's a low number. Three million. I get about 50 million YouTube uh, views a month. That's a very conservative number. I make films, put them online for free, that get watched 40 okay. million times, like the Obama deception. All and right. that's why, because the establishment All doesn't right. know what to do. No, I, I, to no, Alex, no, Alex has this point, and it's, a, and it's an important one. I would have, say, 10 years ago, said, 
Listen to all this stuff. He believes that people put cancer virus in vaccine in order, in order to create a eugenics program. That's what he, that's yeah. what he believes. We talk it's, about it's like medical that. discoveries. And, and, and we would have said, and we would, and I would have said, hey, that's kind of mad and so on. And it's an interesting psychological phenomenon. Like Tuskegee, like the, prob the problem is, down, the conspiracy theories like this are oh, believed, nothing. are believed in Hey, listen, I'm here to warn people. You keep telling me to shut up. This isn't a game. Okay, our government in the U.S. is building FEMA camps. We have an NDAA where they disappear people now. You have this arrest for public safety, life in prison. You are the worst it, person I've ever interviewed. No, no, it's basically off it. with their heads, disappear. David, thank you for away. being with us. InfoWars.com. Half past Liberty 11. You're watching the Liberty Sunday politics. We have an idiot freedom on the program today. Stop. You Coming will not up stop in just freedom. 20 minutes. You will not stop the republic. Humanity is awakening. InfoWars.com. No. You guys are crazy. I'll be looking at the week the ahead with our political stupid. panel. You're Until crazy. then, the think Sunday the politics across know. the You're UK. Crazy. Think of the public isn't waking up. We